weapon. Once clerks alerted the police, he took off and hit a vehicle as he fled from police. Now he came in Dukes of Hazard, getting it digging like that, like Dale Jr., and then hooked up and shot forward. And when he hooked up and shot forward, that's when he came and, and, and hit. How you doing? Neighborhood, and he sees you, and at that time you didn't have a shirt on. Yeah, I, they had to force me to put a shirt on. I, I wanted to do the, the, the interview shirtless. You know, right. I, I thought it was hilarious to, to, to take a shirt off and, and, and be yeah. on the TV and everything. And then, oh, yeah. Especially in front of Nadine. How many of y'all have seen Nadine oh, Hayes? Yeah. 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 She saw your front off it. You see that? Yeah. You got your picture with Nadine out there. And by the way, she said she had a boyfriend when I, when I uh, asked oh. her, you know, gave the question. And uh, What'd you ask her? I asked her to marry me. No. Oh, <laughs> I don't blame you, dude. I don't blame you. Straight in for the kill. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I was just hitting her on at her, and then she, uh, she just said that so that so whenever she went to do her interview and put her pad down, I stole her pad and wrote my name and number down on it. So uh, oh, that's a good move. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So when you go read that, Nadine, go, uh, go ahead and call that number. <laughs> I'm waiting. I will answer the four numbers. So. Lorenzo, take notes. That is our guest, Carter Johnson, this morning. You've seen him on the news. Now, Carter, uh, the reporter, Andrew, told us that not only did he tell you, hey, go back and put a shirt on, but you went inside and you grabbed the coonskin hat as well. God. What made you think, like, let me throw that coonskin hat on? Oh, I, yeah, I, I had it right there sitting on the chair, man. I, it, this wasn't no, nothing that I just went and grabbed. thought, oh, damn, I, I'm, I'm just going to wear this. I was actually wearing it. The reason I took it off is because it was hot. And, uh, my buddy Scrapper Joe was actually over there getting some metal. And uh, uh, we <laughs> is that his name, Scrapper Joe? Yeah, dude, that's what he does. That's what he, he gets does. Scrap metal. Oh, okay, so it's a nickname. I got gotcha. you. Scrapper Joe. I mean, it's a nickname, and it's 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 the way of life. It's the way of life. Yeah. So uh, so me and Scrapper Joe were just you know kicking it, and uh, uh, the dude. Uh, I knew the cameras were going to come out, and I knew it was going to be on TV. And what what better to put on than a coonskin hat? Exactly. Now That's take us back. Take us back to uh, what happened because there was a bank robbery, and then the guy was getting chased by the cops. Yeah. Did they drive by your house, or where were you when you saw that? Ah, oh, me and Scrapper Joe were actually walking through the field. I got a five acre field as my backyard. Oh, nice. And we were walking back to my house because we went to go see if this pole barn was still down there in the tall grass, which it wasn't. So <laughs> as we were walking back, Headland dead ends right into our, our, uh, our field. So as we were walking back, we see this black truck just come come in, you know, just like Dale Jr. And he uh, he, he was burning them and... Uh, Dukes of Hazard stuff. Dukes of Hazard stuff. Not, no, not really Dukes of Hazard. I said that because it reminded me of it, but he had no control over that truck. Yeah. He should have had a Chevy. <laughs> and, uh, and what did he have? A Ford? Ford. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That was and, his problem. That's why yeah. he didn't get away. Exactly. That's, that's what I said on the interview, but they cut it out. I don't know why they did. It was probably oh, yeah. the best part of the interview, but they, uh, <laughs> they, they, uh, yeah, they tried to catch him. He made it to the field. He, he should have did the pit maneuver. That's what I was saying. Pit maneuver, pit him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see it thousands of times on cops. Yeah. Hell yeah, you do. Was that, the, was that like the coolest thing you've ever seen? Uh, it's up there. It's up there. Yeah. It's up there. I've seen some pretty cool stuff. So. Oh. oh, I always enjoy a good um, chase. I, I do don't too. Know. Don't get me wrong. My adrenaline was rushing, and it, I did all of a sudden start running. Uh, you know, I don't know why I was running, and <laughs> woo, you know, but I was for sure. I was pumped, yeah. and that energy carried over and in, in, uh, into all the police at my house. And I don't even know why so many police were at my house, but I do thank the police, especially Corporal Carp. I don't want to say his name wrong. It starts with a C. He was the lead chase driver, and uh, he he did not kill me. He's pretty much saved my life because oh. he could have he could have hit me. Oh. Uh, oh, so when he was driving by, like you were that close? Yeah, yeah. I was from here to the wall away from when they when when they drove through the the uh, the, the field. I so was right there. Feet. Yeah, I was wow. close. I got dirt on my on my jeans from the oh. tire from the tire spin. Wow. That's yeah. a scary feeling right there. Yeah. Well, I was excited. I thought I was at a race. You know. <laughs> A NASCAR race? Yeah, wow. yeah, that or dirt track, either one. Bo, Bo and Luke would have got away from those cops. For sure, they would have jumped the hill, and they, they would have been yep. in the next county. So and no matter what, their car would have survived that. Day. Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah, yes. oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, his truck was down the road. It wasn't even at, at my house. It was at the golf cart clinic down the road, and I have every agency at my house. So I took that upon me to go and try to annoy every single one of them. Uh, Every single one of what? Cops. The cops. All, all the cops. I took my shirt back off. 
I, I, I was, uh, they, you know, were trying to have their little cop huddle groups. I kept going and getting in the middle of, you know. And, you were that guy. I was that guy. Yeah. I was definitely that Hell guy. Yeah. You want to make sure what's going on. So when you were in this whole situation and you're wearing the coonskin hat, did anybody say like, hey, dude, where'd you get that? Did did you make that hat yourself or did you buy that? This was uh, given to me uh, by a very good friend. His name is Terry Wayne. He works here at 231 Paint Body, which I promised him I, I would give him a shout out. Good flag. Yeah. Him and Danny both. They're, uh, they're both great people, do great body work. And... Uh, you know, he's a true outdoorsman, and uh, if, if any... So is that real? That's like this something. is real. You want to wear it? Oh. What? Hell yes, That's man. real. Put that on. You see that? With that tag <laughs> on it, that's real? You know what? That's like... <laughs> you don't believe it? Check it out. That's, oh, yeah. that's like memorabilia, dude. Right. Coonskin, baby. It feels real. That's it, nice. It might bite you. Oh. oh. <laughs> well... Y'all know how I feel about that. <laughs> now he came in Dukes of Hazard, getting it digging like that, like Dale Jr., and then hooked up and shot forward. And when he hooked up and shot forward, that's when he came and, and, and hit.